Hello, Namaste everyone. Welcome to our channel. Uh, as we discussed in the last part about uh, Aranda Vitravai, so we completed up to uh, the great appreciation towards Robe Jewels. Always <coughs> Sachit Roy used to call him French Canadian priest in Bengal. So this was the uh, greatest appreciation towards Sachit Roy. And uh, let us continue from there. Again, there was another Sunday. So where Ray was in a distant mood, there was something happened wrong in that day. What happened? That day, on that Sunday, early morning, there are some great personalities of the city had visited him to go through some of his manuscripts and as well as to see his room and all the things. Some people came to him <coughs> to meet and go through his manuscripts because he's a famous director and what are the movies that he is directing, something is fabulous, something is good, something is great. And that reason, some people had come to visit him. While they were doing all kind of things, his room was explained like this. I mean, his room was uh, discussed like this about how the room was. He has many things in his room. There are drawings, sketches, and a lot of things. He wrote uh, uh, different things in Bengali as well as in English. For example, he said designers who are not able to understand Bengali, so therefore he wrote in English language. That is what we could understand about this man. That time, when the great personalities of the city had visited to go through his manuscripts, one of the person has taken away the script of Charlotta. Script of Charlotta. The movie name Charlotta. For that, there is a script which he has written. That script was taken away by someone. And they are great personalities. They are famous in the city. They are well known people. And after some times, Gas and Obage came to that place as he visit every Sunday. Then he observed something. Ray was in or Roy was in a disturbed mood. Then he went and asked, What happened? What is the reason that you are in disturbed mood? Then he said, What happened that morning? Everything. There are some great personalities had visited him to go through his manuscripts. While they were going away, one person took away the script of Charlotta. Then immediately, Gas and Robe said to him, Come, let us file a case against that person. But Sachet Roy said, No. He doesn't want to put down the uh, reputation of that person who was actually familiar among the people who was familiar among the people, who was famous among the people, he does not want to put down their reputation. By listening that comment, by getting that comment, Robejo was stunned. That is what there we can see, the human concern of such a Roy towards the people. That is something great about this man. After that, he says again one more thing. <clears throat> he compared Sachet Roy with Rabindranath Chagur. Rabindranath Chagur, something great personalities, as we know very well about that. Mostly, Rabindranath Chagur also concentrate on the people, concentrate on uh, a different uh, people are there in this world. So, on them, and he, he wrote many books and a lot of things. And same like that, this person also. There are some uh, thoughts, some philosophies. They are similar with the uh, Rabindranath Tagore. Therefore, he says, wherever Rabindranath Tagore stopped, from there, Roy to cough. Wherever he stopped, Rabindranath Tagore somewhere, simply means Rabindranath Tagore died. After that time, there is no one like Rabindranath Tagore. After many years or some years after, there is a person who is called Sachit Roy, who has some similarities like <coughs> Rabindranath Tagore. And also, how can we understand, means, 
Rabindran Tagore, end of his life, he wrote one book that was Sabbetar Sankat, Crisis of Civilization. Sabbetar Sankat, that was the book. In that book, it was mentioned very clearly if a person loses faith in another person, is considered as a sin. If I lose faith on somebody who believes me or whom I believe in, if I lose that uh, faith on that person, that would be considered as a sin. That is what this man says very clearly about it. Whoever may be that is. And saying that to team was applied in the last three films of Satchajitta Vai. When he is going to die, almost uh, end of his life. So when he is going to die, almost end of the life, he directed uh, some three movies. They are <coughs> Ganakshatru, Shaka Prashaka and uh, Agantak. These are the three movies which he directed uh, end days of his life. Almost going to die and end days of his life. Maybe after that, his life is going to end. So in that process, there are three movies. Ganakshatru, Shaka Prashaka and Agantak. These are the three movies which he directed end of his life. And in that too, clearly the whatever the theme was mentioned in the book of Crisis of Civilization, same things were mentioned in these three movies also. And again, for these movies also there was a problem. There are the critics who criticized about it. Who criticized about, about this. And these people say that this person is verbose. This person is didactic. Simply means he showed himself like a righteous person. He showed himself, himself like a very good person. And also what is needed more than that he showed about himself. That is what the people said. And he gave his personal message in, the, in his last three films. That is his right to give. There is no problem at all with that. Because he is a great director. A lot of things he has done. And in his last three films, he gave some personal message. Further, there are always who stand against to him and said something like that. And therefore, Gaston Robey said one word. There is no prophet. No one is a prophet one's own country. No one is a prophet one's own country. Simply means, no one can get respect. No one can be great in his own country. Or else, suppose we prize other people who are doing good, but we don't prize our people though they have done great things. We simply act. We leave it. We say a lot of things about that. When other people are doing, we prize them and we say a lot of things. But to our people, we are not. We don't say that. That is what something we could understand here. That is what he said. And also, in his life, we can understand about that means, means end of his life. Until he died, there was something great about this man. He was searching for an answer. He was agnostic. Simply means who does not know either there is God or not. Actually, why? Because this person, Gaston Robes, believes in God, but this person has a doubt. And end of his life, almost he was uh, that many years while he was there. He has this doubt in his life until his death. Again, when Roy is going to die, the last Sunday, that time also Sunday one, this man came exactly dot 9 a.m. dot exactly to meet such a uh, uh, to meet such a Roy. Such a Roy was on the bed. He was in a critical condition. He was not able to get up, he was not able to go anywhere, so the situation is very bad. And there he came to see that person. Then he saw something. Then he was not able to be there. 
Gaston Lopez. Gaston Lopez was not able to be there and he just leaving the place. The time Sachet Roy said, Bhalo la clo simply means it was nice. What was nice? The friendship was nice. And whatever they went through all the days, that was nice. That, that was for 22 years. And all the things that whatever they have done, everything was nice. And therefore, Sachet Roy was so happy for that. And therefore, he says, even he was going to die. And he said, Balo la clo. Even Gaston obeys. Why did he not stay for a long time in the hospital? Because he loved somebody who is near or dear to us when they are in a, a bad situation, struggling for the life. It is not that we don't have love, but we are not able to see the condition of them. Therefore, he left the place. And also, this person, this uh, Gaston Robich, we could learn one more thing about this man. Before Ray's or Roy's death, before Roy's death, Robich arranged funds from Canada agencies. He says that very clearly. Whatever the West countries, they are indebted to like countries, India and some, some ex countries. They are indebted. Suppose they have to pay back. Before they have taken something from India, they have to pay back. And in that process, he asked Canada agencies some money. Through that money, he established Chitrabani, a film institute, a communicative institute. He established that. For the purpose of those who are talented, local talented people are there. For them, this Chitrabani could be a lot of hope. So whoever talented, whoever interested, they come to Chitrabani and they can participate in that. They can learn or they can improve themselves and they can be a good stars. That is what the intention of these two people. And for this, mostly, the funds are arranged by this cast and opage. That is a great. It was a symbol of their friendship. A token of the friendship of these two people. That is what we could understand. And many people, they got in that area. And almost for this Chitrabani, 20, 26 years, Gaston Robich was the direct. That is what we could understand through this lesson, films and theatres in Philippine Theatres unit, I mean, theme of the unit in this uh, Rande with Roy. Rande with Roy, meeting with Roy. So Gaston Obej and Sachajit Roy. So Gaston Obej came to India. <clears throat> While he was coming to India, he met, <clears throat> he watched a full trilogy. There, he has a lot of love towards Sachajit Roy. They met and they talk a lot of things. And the friendship was lasted for 22 years until Ray's death in 1992. And after that, as a token of their friendship, Gaston Robich established, supported, or brought a lot of money from Kenya agencies. And also he said to the people, they have no reservations, or no doubts, or simply we say, they don't have any uh, authority on the building, what they are because they are sending money, they don't have any authority on that, or if they have any doubt to send the money because they are indebted to India. That is what we could understand through this lesson. Thank you for watching our channel.